Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So today, well, not today, the last few weeks, I've had a bit of a thing going on in my mind about Jesus. And the thing I have is that I have friends here who see Jesus as the Son of God, and I do too. Let me clear this up. I see Jesus as a son of God. Let me clear this up. I see Jesus as a son of God. But based on the language of ancient Greece, it was never written he never, he never spoke and said, I am the Son of God. He always said, I am a Son of God. And that's been on my mind a lot because simple switch of words from ancient Greek, from Hebrew to ancient Greek to modern English that we're using, is causing a lot of problems. I've been demonized as someone who's the Antichrist when I say these things and for me, I understand why, because there are parts of the Bible that say, unless a man admit that Jesus came in the flesh, that then he is the spirit of an antichrist. Well, I admit that the Christ came in the flesh. Well, I admit that the Christ came in the flesh. Many, many times, but I admit that Jesus was one of, if not the most spectacular time when a Christ came in the flesh, when a Christ came in the flesh. His teachings have lived for millennia, well, for ages. He was one of the greatest sons of God to ever walk this earth. But he was a son of God. And I don't think he was the, I think he was a. But he was a son of God. I don't think he was the, I think he was a.